This is the King Boy trying to hear today. Today we are here to learn exactly how my setup is in my truck. This is exactly how my setup is in my Marine speakers. I got four aches in the bed of the truck, uh, Rockville. Uh, they come in sets though. So the way the, the way the Rockville is designed is it's two eights combined into one in a set. So you can't just order just one eight. I mean, you can, but these kinds I got, they come in set. There's two eights combined together to one. And so I got four eights in the back. And I got two PAs off on the truck. But this is here in this video, y'all gonna learn exactly how, exactly, step by step, how I got everything ran, how my music on the outside run, how I turn it on, how I play it going on the road. Y'all, everything, everything you need to know. So let's get to it. As you can see right here, you can see I got the back seat and everything out right here. Uh, this is actually how I got it wired up. Now this right here, this little block right here, this is a distribution block. You can order it off of eBay. Some, you can get them made for one and two in and out. Or you can get them up to May, I think, to, to like one and four or one and six out. It's, it's, so, I mean, they got all the different shapes inside. This is a zero gauge going into two, uh, two four gauges right here. So, basically, as you can see right here, I got the zero gauge right here going in here. And I got the two four gauge right here. Now, these two four gauge right here, uh, this wire is coming from the battery. And it goes in the distribution block. And this wire right here goes to this amp. As you can see right here, and this wire right here goes into, actually if you can see, I don't know if you might be able to see it off in there. I have a, uh, another amp with a seat is on top of it. Now basically the way it works is, alright, I have the, uh, my RCAs, the way they design is, I got two RCAs, I got one of them running off on the CD, uh, I got two different sets. One of them's uh, running straight to the CU player. This one here is running straight to the CU player. But the way this four China amp made is four China amps. I don't know if I come around the other side. All right. Four China amps are made. And if you see right here, we can get real close enough to it. They have uh, double uh, RCAs. And so they don't just have one, like, one input, one output, like a monoblock amp do, a class D amp mate. They have a four set of RCAs. And so what I did, I ordered a kit where, because I can only have so many RCA jacks on the back of the CD player, I ordered a kit that runs into, it splits it. As you can see right here, these right here, these wires right here, uh, I can run one input, one output, and it splits into four. And that's how I got it actually controlling all my channels on this amp right here. But this wire right here, this red wire right here, uh, actually, you look, I don't know if you can tell real good, but I probably had to go back on the other side. But let me go ahead and talk about this right here. That wire right here, I got, as you can see, I got two hot wires right here. I mean, it, I need to actually do some, actually tape them together and make it look a little bit more neater, but you normally can see it. I have uh, two hot wires right here. One of them run all the way off on the dash, right, off on the hill, all the way off on here with my finger at, and off on the dash. And as you can see right there, I got three switches. One switch will go to my, uh, uh, LED light bar. This switch right here goes to my uh, underglow, and this switch right here, as you can see, I got a fuse on this switch right here too, because it pulls a lot more power than normal. Uh, this switch right here goes to my music. So when I go out on road and I decide, okay, I want to turn my music on, I flip this switch right here, and as you can see right here, my help is now currently on. And basically, the way I got that run here, it's got a, uh, it's got a wire like that. This little red wire right here. It's actually, I got it joined in with the hot wire. So this power on one of these red wires at all the time. It's joined in with my, uh, with my hot wire. And I got it, uh, running all the way from that hot wire right there. Cause one of these wires got power going to it all the time. And, uh, it is going into actually the switch. So when I flip the switch, when I flip the switch, it's got, uh, it sends power to the other wire, comes all the way back. And actually go to the remote, uh, the remote switch. One of them is actually a remote switch wire. Now I had it with blue, but I actually didn't crimp it or something, pinched it uh, off under the dash, and I had to rerun everything. I kind of just cleaned it up just a little bit better than it was. But uh, one of the wires got power going to all the time, and it's actually, as I can see, I can tell you better. I can show you. All right, one of these wires right here goes in the. Uh, as you can see, where I got my finger. At, it's going to the hot wire at all the time. So one of them got power going to all the time, and the other wire goes to the switch and come back from the switch. And runs into the remote wire. Now that's what cuts this amp on and off. Because with this amp off, it doesn't play music on the outside. And I don't want to play music on all the time. Now the way I got my uh 
imp going to the subs, it's actually wired professionally to the back of the CD player. And so basically what it does, when I turn the truck on, power goes to the imp automatic to the, to the, uh, to the sub. But since I don't want power going to this right here, because if it was going to this, at the time I'm using on the outside, I have a switch for it. But as you can see, I got, you know, cleaned up a little bit. You don't see any barrel wire. Now, I could. I need to rerun this. No lie. I know somebody's going to say, some people going to be like, man, you got this right here, running right here, can pinch right here. Yeah, I know. But I'm eventually cleaning this up right here. It does good for what it is. Also, if you notice right here, I had I had to cut this carpet out. This is this insulation to go to the back wall. I cut all that out, and it actually fit just perfect in that little slot right here. It's just thick enough. Because this amp right here is about, uh, I'll say, four inches thick. And so it fits just enough room for me to get this seat behind it and, and, and set the seat over it. So I had to cut this insulation and everything out right here, as you can see. Uh, now, your Chevrolet tends to not have this bracket right here. At least my, uh, your older Chevrolet is the one, like I said, your round bodies and cat eye. The whole seat come out, so they don't have this uh, this safety feature. This is something that they started doing like in those 2007 and on the, on the Fords. And so... Uh, your, your Chevrolets tend, tend to not have this right here. And so a lot of people with, the, uh, with your Chevrolets, they tend to cut all this out right here, take this whole insulation out, and that's how they run a whole, you know, amp rack back there. Currently, like how my brother is, but I'm going to make a video on that, showing how he got his set up, because his stuff is 10 times cleaner than mine here. All right. I'm going to give it a place of music. Uh, I got the switch currently on right now. And uh, let's, let's get to it. I right, got the music playing. Alright. Now when I flip this switch, you better hear the chain sound change. Flip the switch. Amp come on. Now the music gonna play on our side. Now I got the speakers playing on the outside. Right here. If I go broke, I can push it away. Walk the face, shorty got a pretty mouth. I'm a fuck up face. If I go broke, then it's back pushing away. All I know is get the cash, get the bag on it. Got a shop on the left. Now, flip this switch right here. Cut the amp off. As you can see, the power dimming on it. And now the music ain't playing no more. I got a hole in the floor on the other side of the truck. And the hole in the floor, as you can see, goes down here. I got a hole in the floor somewhere up in here. I can't see, I can't remember exactly. And basically, it goes off under the truck. And if I lay on my back, you can see it. Goes off on the truck, runs all the way down there right there. And goes, I got a hole inside the bed. Bed right there, it comes out right there. And uh, now I got currently running three channels. So one channel running these two, one channel running these two, and I got another channel running the ones off on it. And the thing about my, with the Rock Fear 4 channel, you have two gain knobs. So I got these gains right here set to play mid bass, uh, mid bass and lyrics basically. Majority of your mids. Uh, the ones off on the truck. I only got it to play it high, so it's basically, it, it kind of sounds, it basically is like a tweeter, basically. The horns can't take us nowhere near as much power as these right here, because these are 400 watts a piece RMS. And so, the one off on the truck is maybe be, maybe 75 to 100 watts at best. And so, I, I got barely any power going to the one off on the truck. But these right here, I got all my power is going to these right here. Actually, more than 400 watts. I probably got currently going to five to 600 watts a piece. Because that amp I got in the back is a 3200 watts. But it's Rockville, so you know it's not doing true 3200 3, watts. It's probably doing more like this amp right here at the time was the best bang for the buck. That amp is probably pushing 15, maybe 2000 watts, if that. Maybe 2000 watts, if that. Uh, it doesn't actually do quite true rated power. It's not. It's no. It's not as good as a tire amp. It's not as good as a PRV. Which if I did, I wish I actually had a PRV or NVX or something like that because it'll make a whole lot more compact and I have the ability to run two amps. And that way I'll run a capacitor, two amps, and, a, and another bed and some more stuff, which maybe I might upgrade later on in the road. But for right now, this right here does pretty good right here for what it is. So, yeah, that's exactly how I got everything running on my truck, how I got my music set up. If y'all want to copy currently, y'all can text me or 
text me on my email or text me on my Instagram or anything, and I can tell you exactly how I got mine set up, kind of, you know, help you, help you out, get your own set up, because I'm not, I mean, I'm not really that person where I don't want everybody to be like, oh, I don't want nobody to do it like the way I got it. I, I want somebody, like, to find out on their own or whatever, but, like, me personally, this is the King Boy channel. We are honesty here. I mean, ain't nothing I'm trying to hide anything or how I do my, on my truck. That's exactly how I got my music set up. It's not the best. It's not the worst, but it works. It works for me, and it gets the job done. So, yeah, this is the King Boy channel. I want you to uh, comment down below what you think about this video so I do some more uh, tutorials or how-to or step by step, step by step because I got a lot of ideas and stuff that I do on my truck, really, that may help y'all out. But I just want y'all to comment down below and let me know uh, how everything, what I should do, what I should post next because I got a whole lot of ideas and a whole lot more content coming. But that's just one thing that kind of helps me out to get an idea on what y'all want to watch because I want to entertain y'all. But yeah, this is, like I said, now we hit the 500 mark, we did the giveaway, now it's time to go on up for the sky now. So it's time to go up, to, it's trying to hit the 700 subscribers, it's that right there. Uh, the road to 1,000 subscribers, I know it's a little, it sounds a little far from right now, but I know with y'all staying tuned and uh, subscribing and supporting us and stuff, we can get this all together. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we out. All alone, I'm in my groove. If they say I'm anti-social, you've been lied to.